Guys, today I have a video of what I'm getting my kids for their Halloween buckets, baskets, whatever you want to call it, bags. Um, yeah. So I have this whole entire stack right here. I'm just gonna, I'm going, I'm going through all of them. I've already done one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six of ow dogs of the um days may go of the uh of the, uh, of the other shelves i have one two three four five six that i've already done if you want to go check out those videos uh go check those ones out uh so that you guys can actually watch them in order i mean they i mean they really aren't in in order but yeah anyway so um this little so let's get get started and i think that that yep i knew that it was going to uh, topple over really any minute so hold on guys uh, if you guys don't know um, if you guys don't know, um, my, da my daughter and son, they both are obsessed with the Mercer Mayer Little Critter Collection. They love these books, like love them, and they are going to, go, go, they, they, they are going to both be getting some. They have probably about maybe 90 each of these little critter books because they love them and, 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 and let me just say right now they both my daughter does not have this one yet this is the, the little critter collection she loves treasury books so that's why i'm getting that that's why i'm getting her the mercer mayor treasury book her her brother has this one but she does not it basically has seven books in one and her and her brother is going to be getting the some of these that are um basically um I got my daughter the treasury type because she's more into treasuries so this is just the treasury type of Mercer Mayer her brother has this book and she wanted it so it's just it's basically just the book. She's basically just a book of the Mercer Mayor stories, only packed in this one book. Um, so I am going to, and then some of these books that, that, that you guys see. Are going to, that my nine-year-old is, is, is in. Guys. Sorry if you guys hear dogs in the background. I have the dogs legit right back, right behind me. So, um, anyway, I got this book for my 10 year old. It's the Treasury Collection. Her brother has this one. She, she is not. And her brother is into, he isn't into the Treasury type book, but he does have this one. Uh, he is more into like the individual books of Mercer Mayer. So he's, so he, so, so lots of these stories that are, that are in here, I have in this pile. Like it starts from, from like right here downwards. So yeah. He's going to be getting quite a few of the individual books that are in this series because he wants them. While my 10 year old is getting, my 10 year old girl is, is getting this treasury. She has, I mean, he has the treasury also, but he just, but he just wants some of the individual books. So, yeah. He, my, 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 I got my daughter the treasury book. He has the, the a treasury book. Ow! Hey! Hey! So, but I am going to be getting him a few. Hoss! Be nice! Uh, I am going, I am going. Ow! Ow! I am going to be getting my son um, a couple of the ones. In, a couple of the ones are in this collection, but my daughter is getting this the, this treasury book anyway. Um. Yeah. My daughter and son are both obsessed with the Scholastic Daisy. Go. Are both obsessed both her and her brother are both obsessed with these 
like flashlight book type things. Her and her, her, and her brother. Her brother. Her brother. Her brother. Her and her brother are both obsessed with, with these uh, scholastic um, like flashlight books. So I did get my daughter. So I got my son one and my daughter one. I got my son the Earth and Sky because like the, because they already have quite a few of the books, these uh, flashlight books, that are in this in this collection, and they like them both. Both her and her and her uh, brother, they love these these flashlight books. So basically, what you do is is one of these comes with a flashlight. So hold on, right here. This is the flashlight, and basically what basically what you do, if you can see. They have, they have other, her, her and her brother have quite a few of, of the other ones in this series because they love these uh, flashlight books. But I did want to, to get them both one for their ba for, for their bags because, hey, Daisy May, Daisy May, Daisy May, I did want to get them both for my, um, I did. I did want to go to both get them one because they both love love these uh, these uh, flashlight books. So I got my son this Earth and Sky one, and they and they both her and her and her brother have these have some of these already in the series and they love them, but they don't have. But he does not have the the Earth and, the Earth and Sky one. I both got them the ones they were they, they're missing in in their collection. If you don't know what I mean, um. Her, his, his sister already has this Earth and Sky one in the uh, flashlight collection, but he does not. So I got him this one, and then his sister does not. His sister does not have. Um, his sister does does not have the uh, human the human body one, while her brother does have the uh, the uh, human body one. So, for example, if this if if this is confusing, it's confusing my. My my daughter already has this book, this uh, flashlight Earth and Sky one, and my son already has the he did the the human body one. I just kind of roll reversed the ones that they do not have. So my son do, doesn't have this one. And my daughter do, do, doesn't have this one, but my son does have this one. So the, so that's why this is why this one's going to my daughter, and then my daughter has this one. So, so that's why the, why that's why this one's going to my son. Yes, they're just flashlight books, and they have like cool like information in them. And my son is really into Earth and Sky and all that. And my and and his sister does like like Sky and Space too. That's that's one of the subjects that my son is into. He does like geography and ecology, but he does like learning about space just like his sister. So I got him the Earth and Sky one because she has the the Earth and Sky one and then one her brother has but she does not have is, is a human body one again they have quite a few of these books in their collection her and her brother and they love these books like I mean love them So if you don't, you you you're just basically um, I don't know if they sell replacement flashlights, but my son al already has his flashlight from one of his books. But my daughter does not have a flashlight. Uh, I mean, she does have a flashlight for actually one, one one of her books. But I did want to get her a replacement flashlight because her her brother already has a few of these of, uh, of these flash flashlights for his books. But she does not have a lot of the flashlights. I think she only has like three of them. So I want to get her the book that actually include the include the flashlight. While her brother her brother does does not need a book that includes the the, the flashlight because let's be honest, he he already has a lot of the flash of the flashlights for for these books because every single one that he's bought has a flashlight. So I, it's like each page each couple pages is like this like thing, and then you just. You put the flashlight underneath it. So, my daughter is obsessed with these books, these type of books, these flashlight books. So I did get her the human body, and I got him the Earth and Sky. So I got them both one of those.
but next they are both they love their joke books and my son has one but i want to get my daughter one so this so, so this is the one i'm getting for my daughter they both love joke books and they have like like quite a few of joke books both her and her brother but i did want to get her a cooler one because she was asking for an art joke jokes book even though they have some already both her and her brother i got her an, 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 another one for, for her collection Um, then my son, he's obsessed with the Horrid Henry books, and he's also obsessed with it with the horrible. He also loves not only Horrid Henry but also Horrible Harry. So he's obsessed with these Horrid, these uh, Horrible Harry books. He loves to watch Horrid Henry. If you guys watched some of the other videos from the other day, um. You guys would have seen that my son is getting quite like two, three, I think like three horrid Henry books. And I think he's, yep, he's like, he, he's also getting a, a fourth one if you can see that right there. So, um, yeah, so he's also, he, his, uh, my 10 year old is obsessed again. They both love these, uh, classic books. That's why you guys might be seeing a lot of classic books in, in these videos without me even pointing it out is because my kids love Scholastic. Um, and the first books that I actually started my five month old on, which is my 10 year old now, and my 10 month old, which is my nine year old now. So I started them on these Scholastic books and the first readers. But I got this Horrible Harry book in room 2B. My son loves Horrible Harry, but it's actually really hard to actually find these books because I think they're kind of going out of style. Um, was 1988 so they are going out of style um the horrible hairy books because i don't I, I mean to us they're going out of style to to you guys you guys might not might not th think so but my son loves these horrible hairy books so the only ones that we've really been, been, been able to find that are like com like compromisable to the to, to the horrible hairy are horrid henry which my dot which my son loves horrid Henry so I was actually able to find some Horrible Harry books um, so I'm happy I got this Horrible Harry one and I know he's gonna love it because it's because it's, because he has quite a he has like 10 of these Horrid Harry books already and loves them so I want to give him I'm gonna give him another one this is one that I know he does not have because I buy him all uh, I buy I, I buy him all of his books and I especially buy him all of his Horrible ha Harry books so, I got a horrible Harry book, um, and I'm, I think he'll be really happy to actually see that you got a horrible Harry book. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, he does have horrible Harry books, but it's been a while since he got them, so I think he'll be, he'll be, happy, he'll be happy to see that one. Then, he is obsessed with this stink collection. I don't know what it is, but he asked me a few, like a year ago, he asked, he, he, he's been ever searching for he's been searching for, for these ever since like a year or two a few months ago he's been searching for these stink books and I was actually able to find I think one through eight is it one through eight one through I think one through I think it's my yeah I think it's one through eight um anyway so I was, so I was able to find them so I decided to get him stink and the midnight zombie this, um I hope he's super ha super happy to know that I found his stink books. He's been searching for for these for forever now, and they're the perfect comic book for him because it's so or not comic book chapter book. It's so hard to find a ch a chapter book that's easy for my nine year old to read and not too advanced because my ten year old girl is already onto like advanced chapter books. But uh, but my ten year old has been trying to find these these chapter books because they're more up his alley and they're like easier for for him to read with a picture so i think he'll really like these and i and i think he'll be happy to actually see that i got him one through eight no i think it was it's it, it, it's either one through seven or one through eight that i got him so i got him stink in the midnight zombie walk walk and our scholastic book is the and i love how these have like a couple words on i i, I mean 
not a couple words on each page, but a decent amount of words, and they're easy for him to sound out too. So these aren't too advanced like his sisters, but but also he'll he he'll he'll, he'll kind of feel that his sister is, um, that he's reading like his sister a, ch a chapter book, and um not left out because whenever I would get my 10 year old girl chapter books he would want them too but it would be so hard because we have not been been able to find the stink collection at all and now he'll be, be happy that he has his own collection and, and before I even got I, before I even uh, before my 10 year old even um, or not 10 year old before my um, but yeah, before my 10 year old, um, even got, I mean, while my 10 year old was getting chat books, my 10 year old, I mean, nine year old boy was so upset because he didn't have any chat books and he felt left out. So I think he'll be happy that I got him some stink books. Then for my daughter, another classic book, it's the five true dog stories. My daughter loves dogs and she, she has quite a few dog books already both her and her brother, but I want to get her five true dog stories. And then, see, like, this is, like, my daughter's, like, like, a uh, level, like, in, uh, of, 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 like, intensity. And my son, I, I, I like him to, to start off more easy, so. And then my other book is this one. This is Triplet Trouble and the Talent Show Mess, another one by Scholastic. Uh, my son, again, loves these triplet triplet trouble trouble books uh again he he collects these triplet trouble book triple triplet trouble books and he likes them so i got him another one to add to his collection he, he doesn't he, he doesn't have all of them so i did get him one that he does not have in his collection because i because i want him to be able to, ha to have one that, that he does not have and it's by little apple just like this book is I got those. <clears throat> then I got my son more of these stink books. I don't I don't know where the other books went that are in the stink collection. I have not give it, given them to him yet, so I don't know where they went. But I got him more than than just three of the uh, stink books. But anyway, Stink and the Incredible Super Galactic Jawbreaker and Stink and the Incredible Shrinking Kid. Now you might be wondering why these are my son's first, or, or not first chapter book, one of the series that he likes. That's because he hasn't been, been able to find this ever since they came out, and he's been wanting to. And it's one of those ones I actually let him read because it's actually hard to find boyish chapter books and ones that he enjoys. So usually they're too girly for him. So I'm actually happy to find one that he enjoys and that he'll be happy reading. So got him this one and I got him stinking the incredible shrinking kid. And then, what does it, does it tell you on the back? The other ones? No, it doesn't. Okay, yes, no, it doesn't. It tells you the, uh, it tells you the other books. Okay, so, yes, it does. Okay, so, he's, he, he's gonna stink the shrinking kid and stink the incredible super collective jawbreaker. He's also getting stink in the worst st super stinky sneakers, stink in the incredible thumb wrestling smackdown, stink the midnight zombie walk, and stink in the game pig, eh, and the giant guinea, or no, and the great guinea pig express, and then super super system superhero, freaky frog freak out, sharks sharks sleepover, or no, yeah, I think he's getting book one through eight, I think. So, I but I I I, I can only find one, two, and seven right now. I don't know where the uh, where the other ones are, but he'll be happy to know that that he's getting some stink books because he's been bugging me forever mom i want some stink books so i am actually happy that i found him some stink books and he'll, and he'll be happy too then i got another book for my son 
He's obsessed with these. He's obsessed with these, um, Magic Treehouse books. So I, so I did get him another one for his collection. It's the, uh, Polar Bears Past Bedtime book. He loves these, um, he, he loves these, um, he loves these, uh, Magic Treehouse books. And he has quite a few, like, I mean, like, quite a few, but he does not have this one. So I did get him this one in his collection. It's the Poor Bears Past Bedtime. I got him also another one that his sister has. Um, I think, I, I think it's like something in the, uh, Amazon. So if you guys go back and watch that, a couple of their videos, like, because, because see, I've done that shelf. Look, I've done, I've done that shelf, that shelf, that shelf, that shelf that shelf and that shelf so go back and watch those ones anyway this is polar bear's past bedtime book and her sister has this one i mean no he is the only one who who has this one i thought her sister did but no he she doesn't so one that he, I mean, he does not have Poor Bear's past, past Bedtime. He loves, loves, loves any, um, like, um, he loves any, uh, Magic Treehouse book, and this is book 12, so, again, one that, one that he does not have. He's obsessed with the Magic Treehouse checkbook, chapter books also. He likes those as his favorite books. And before I think of any stink books, he loved the, um, he loved the, um, Magic Tree House, and he still does love the Magic Tree House. Anyway, I got him another one of these, uh, Horrid Henry books. He watches Horrid Henry on YouTube and TV and loves it. So I, so I got him another one of these Horrid Henry books. It's the Mega Mean Time Machine. He loved these Horrid, these are Horrid Henry books. And whenever we go to the store, he, he always wants to buy one. And he has quite, quite a few already. I just got him, I believe, like, four or five that he does not have. I think four. I think, like, four or five that he does not have. Um, another one that I got is this one. And I got him this Gravestone Riddle book. Hard to find boy ghost books. So I got him this one. I think he'll really enjoy it. It's hard to find, like, boyish books that are like about ghosts or whatever so got him the mystery of the gravestone riddle sorry if the lighting is changing Then my Then my daughter loves these um these like classic fairy tales and one that she does not have, surprise, surprise, is Velveteen Rabbit. So I got her a nice nice introduction to Vel Vel Velveteen Rabbit and a nice kid approach. Her brother has a Velveteen Rabbit as well. And then another book I got is this Dear Santa book. Kidders, kids, kiddles, uh, excuse me, kids, letters to old Saint. So this is a really cool book. My um, daughter requested the, this one 
I found it and I thought that it was uh, it was really cool. Her brother has this one too, so I can see why she wanted it. Another book I got is more of his horrible Harry books. He loves these horrible Harry books. Like, I mean, loves them. So, I got him another one. This is Horrible Harry in the Dungeon. My daughter loves her Magic Tree House books. And I think I got her one now that, that was like a rainbow type one. Uh, my daughter has quite a few of these, uh, of this, of these Magic uh, School Bus books. And in paperback and chapter book form, but she only has one of the of the of the chapter books of Magic School School Bus books. It's a rainbow one, I believe. So I got her another one. My daughter loves these Magic School Bus like like chapter books and picture books. So I got the Great Shark Escape. She has quite a few of the picture books, and but until like a year ago, um. She um is really obsessed with these ch the chapter books, so I, so I got her another one. I got her another one. This is the Wild Whale Watch chapter book. This is book three. The other one was I like, what book seven? Yeah, book seven. So I did get my daughter a magic a magic school bus chapter books. I got her two. She likes the magic school bus chapter books. She there for a while was actually reading the Magic Tree House like paperback picture books and she still does she loves those the uh, magic school bus paperback picture books paperback picture books so i did want to get her an, uh two more of these magic school bus charge books because i got her one i believe a year ago that was like a rainbow one and she fell in love with it like a rainbow something one so i did get her shark escape and the wild whale watch so two that she does she does not have and she loves these these uh, these are uh, books because her reading now is starting to be i, I, I like a eighth grade level so yeah i got my son another one of these horrible harry books this one is horrible harry and the dragon war um i got the ghostly co uh competitions a fear of chilling tales i got this one for my daughter and i think she'll she'll really like it again it's one of those it's hard to find it's more easy to find ghost books for girls than it is for boys so this one is for my uh, for, for for my daughter, and then the, and then I have like I think like yeah I have like what one two three four five six more I believe. Uh, I have this magic magic play book. My daughter has quite a few of these magic uh, animal books, so I got her a, a, a magic play one, and this is again by Scholastic. She does not have this puppy one, even, even though she has quite a few of the magic puppy ones and cat ones and whatever, and unicorn ones, or whatever they're called. I got her pu puppy one because she does not have that one in her collection yet, and she loves these these, these uh, magic puppy ones, or magic kitty ones, or whatever. Um, I also got, and she already has quite a few, her, my 10-year-old, uh, she, she already has quite a few of the magic puppy books. Uh, so I got her, no, one she, she does not have. From Apple, from Apple Classics, I got the White Fang for my daughter. She loves wolves or huskies or whatever, so I got her this. Again, it's an, it, it's one of those other like eighth grader read chapter, ch 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 chapter books. It's I've actually I'm trying to find her more thicker books like this. But it's, but it's proving more more of a challenge than easy, so I got her. So I so I kind of get her more of like the thinner type ones, which she still likes. So uh, I also have one. So, uh, so let me just grab these down real quick. My daughter loves the. Um, actually, wait, hold on. Let me. I'm going to do something, do something real quick where I just spread these out. So 
So yeah. Got my daughter. So where was I? Oh yeah, I was right here, I believe. Yeah, right here. I got my daughter horrible hair in the dungeon. I mean my I mean my my son it's putting more of a challenge to find him horrible hairy books because it but it's more easy to it's more easy to find him horrible it's more easy to find him horrid henry than it is to find horrible harry but he loves hor horrible harry too so horrible harry and horrid henry i love for him and and he loves them too so i got him that one he loves these uh horrible harry books as much as he likes the horrible uh or, 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 horrid henry uh i my daughter is really into these magic school of chapter books I got her two of them. She has one already that's a rainbow one. So I got her the Great Shark Escape and the Wild Whale Watch. She loves these. I mean, loves, loves, loves these to death. Uh, and she also likes their, their uh, picture books as well. So there we go. Uh, I also got the... Um... Horrible Harry the, and the Dungeon War. Again, for my son, he loves these uh, Scholastic Horrible Harry books. Ghostly uh, competitions for my, for my daughter. It's hard to find ghost books that are in her reading level, so I thought that she would like this one. She has quite a few of these magic, bo uh, magic animal books. I got her Magic Puppy. She has quite a few of the Magic Puppy, but not this one. Uh, when it comes to my daughter, it's hard to find her like eighth grade, like really big reads like this. But I managed to find this one. It's by Apple Classics. Uh, in our book, see, Scholastic, 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 and Scholastic. We love Scholastic books. If you can't tell. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. My daughter is obsessed. My daughter loves these. Um, she likes the dinosaur ones, but if they're like too involved with dinosaurs, she's like, uh uh. But I did get her one that I think she'll like. It's this Dinosaur Cove. She doesn't read too much di dinosaur books because she really isn't into dinosaurs like her brother is. But I think I found her this, the perfect one. I mean, she'll read dinosaurs books on books on occasion, but. She'll read dinosaur books on occasion, but um, like they like they aren't her favorite. But I think I found her one. She does have quite a few, uh, or not quite a few, some dinosaur books that she likes. So got her that one. Um, if I have not mentioned, my son has quite a few of these horrible uh, Harry books, but again, it's it, it, it's hard to find them. My, son, my my daughter has these uh some of these I just magic school chapter books but only like Daisy May oh sorry uh but only one of them so I got her two more I got horrible Harry and the Dragon War again because they're hard to find ghostly uh, comp uh competitions she doesn't have anything. Like this magic puppy, she has a quite she has quite a few of the of magic books, but not that magic dog book. And then I also got her the uh, white fang. Don't know what it's about, but I think she'll like it. It's hard, it's hard to find good like like eighth grade reads. Uh, anyway, so I got her dinosaur cove. What? I'm making a video. Um, my daughter is obsessed with these classic books. This is the Black Lagoon Adventures. Um, she used to read.
Mm. So. So.